Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cal Radia. Now, when we left off, we had just decided that we would make a decision about what kind of path we are going to take in terms of whether we will stay with the Deltasm Empire or leave it. Now, due to the majority of votes being toward the leaving part, we are going to do just that. So, as you can see, I have found Lich King Malyron rather fast, mind you, and thankfully he is not within enemy territory. So, we are going to be speaking to him as quickly as we can, and... As you can see by his next speech here, we have been gathering right to rule by sending our companions on missions. So, he says, My informants tell me that some people in this realm are speaking of you as the next king. I assume that you will quickly put a stop to such idle and dangerous talk. Oh yes, but no, we will not be doing that, my lord. I am terribly sorry. But here we are. We are about to be released from our oath, and we are doing what we must do. So, let's do it. There we are. It was an honor to serve you. Yes, there we are. So we lose 20 relation with him, but that is not too bad, I suppose. Now, there are a couple of differences between our previous army and the current army we have, and that is that we have quite a few shadow units, as you can see here. So we have armored shadow warriors, shadow knights, shadow wizards, and of course we have the golems that we have acquired through other means. We have some dwarven units to hopefully protect from enemy mages, and then we have some regular mages as well as bandit mages and liches necromancers and dark mages as well very nice indeed so we are about to head off now i have sent off quiona i believe on a mission to gather right to rule as you can see we currently have how much 12 we have 12 right to rule so hopefully we will <laughs> make that enough to be able to make our own faction. So, I have hopefully had enough time to kit us out. Now, I have given quite a few items, and that is, of course, armor, weapons, and various other things to our companions here, as you can see as I'm scrolling through. Artimena is looking a lot better than he was previously. Of course, I was not able to get him a new weapon, so hopefully that will not matter too much because I think he's probably going to become our minister. Even though he does have engineering, I will probably make Yamira into our engineer, perhaps? Although that is still early days. I do not know just yet. So, to my own inventory, I suppose. And we are lucky enough, finally, to have found... The Vulpal Sword. I actually found this, I believe, at the Drow Lands? I cannot remember. It was actually a really long time ago in-game. I've been doing this for almost four hours now, so yes, a little bit too long for my liking, but <laughs> I suppose it is all worth it to prepare for the coming of our own faction. So, I will be heading off to the north, and I must just mention that this is not the first time I am actually recording this particular episode. Unfortunately, even I can make mistakes when it comes to microphones and actually configuring them properly for recording. So yes, I slightly raged at that point because I had been doing a lot of preparation for it, as you can tell, and when I quit, I had not, of course, made a backup as I thought that the recording was perfectly fine, but thankfully now I have made 100% sure that we have a backup of my progress here, and so what we will be doing is heading to Nordlands, because I believe we will be starting in Wercheg and making our way across the entire northern territories of Calradia, and indeed maybe have a shot at taking down the Blazing Hand. However, we do need to be a little bit cautious of those fellows because they are very powerful. So, what I will be doing right now is traveling to Wercheg and taking them on. So, I will see you soon. Okay, so we have arrived here at Wercheg, and thankfully enough, we have a Jarl right behind us here. So I think the best course of action to take would be to take him on, and of course to deliver our demands to him. Yes, very audaciously indeed, so uh, let's do it. This is none of your business, aha. 122 of our troops against 65 of theirs. Now, I am going to be a little cautious here because I have been known to get taken out incredibly easily.
when we are wearing this armor. And I think to that end, we might want to change our robe. Because even though our robe does give us the necromancer look, I think at the moment it is a little bit too low on the protection side. And indeed, our hood gives us the very nice devious look of a necromancer. So hopefully we can find some better armor at some point, and I will be charging everyone in. We will just do as much damage as we can. I have my Vorpal Sword at the ready, and hopefully we'll see a couple of Vorpal Strike attacks from our Shadow Knights, because they apparently have a special ability called Vorpal Strike, as you can see there. And that apparently does more damage to living units than anything else, so that will be very nice to be able to use against many of these Nord units here. And... Yes, what happened previously is that we have a couple of issues with undead units breaking free from our control. So we can only hope that they are not Shadow Knights, because if Shadow Knights break free then they are almost invincible. They have a huge amount of HP, so hopefully we will not have to deal with them. But nevertheless, we have gained one renown and... 10 morale. Oh, it appears it was one of the Shadow Wizards. That is a little unfortunate. Well, never mind. We will be taking him prisoner, and we will be taking a couple of his units prisoner as well. So, let's take these to sell. Just a few of them, because we do not have too much space. And now, we will be heading in with the 20 skeletons that we have raised from the remains of our enemies into Wercheg, and building the ladders thanks to Artimena's engineering skill. Now, I am hoping that there won't be anyone... Okay. No vassals whatsoever attempting to interrupt us at all. That is good. And we will now lead our soldiers in an assault. Now, the one thing that I must mention is that spawning on the side here is not necessarily too good for our mages. As you can see by Alethira, Mateld, Umi, all dying by the enemy's mages. We are not able to retaliate too fast, I must admit, so that's not too good. But we do have a fireball, and I am planning to use it as best we can. Yes, there we are. Burn them! I actually wish that we had some sort of vampiric bolt. I might want to get one of those. Maybe the black bolt as well, because we are a necromancer after all. I think it would be rather suitable for us to have something to that ilk. So I think, if we are able, I will check in the marketplace after we have completed the siege. And we will hope that a vampiric or black bolt is available. So... Hopefully we'll be able to take these guys on as best we can. And lightning bolt attack. Yes. Come on. Take them down as best we can. Maybe we can get a level up. That would be wonderful. And... Oh yes. My lightning bolt is killing a lot of troops there. I can tell. Oh yes. Now we are regenerating our mana rather considerably. So I'm hoping we will be able to use our fireball once again. Yes we are. Great. Let's do it. Yeah. There we are. That's great. Okay, only one use of it, unfortunately. Now, I will continue to use our lightning bolts as best we can, and we'll see how that goes. Unfortunately, we're not able to see the huge amounts of casualties that we are currently causing, but it appears that our units are able to free themselves from the bottleneck and charge at the remaining enemies. There we are, we have taken them down. And it appears that there was actually one unit breaking free from our control right there. I believe that was the Shadow Wizard, unfortunately enough, because they are very powerful indeed. But nevertheless, we didn't take too many casualties whatsoever in comparison to our enemies. So, we will now be taking these bandit mages, that is for sure. They are very nice indeed. And, what else? What else do we want to take here? I'm not entirely sure. I think the mercenary mages will be good, but we do want to have one space. So, I will be releasing the skeletons because they are not necessarily very useful. I would like to have the skeletons from this siege, of course, because that will mean that we'll have a huge amount of them, and that would be wonderful. So, there we are, 124 should be fine, and we'll take a few pieces of loot as well. And Alethira has advanced to level 6, which is wonderful. So, Aiden says, Sire, we have taken Wurcheg. Who do you wish to give it to? I want to have Wurcheg for myself, of course. Oh, yes. Okay, so... There we are. We have now gained Wercheg for ourselves. And I will be appointing Archimena as our new minister. He is probably the best to do that until we gain a wife. Now, I am having difficulty deciding what kind of wife we are going to have. I am only assuming that I believe 
the best course of action to take would be to marry one of our vassals. Now, I have a good idea of what vassals we are going to be making in just a moment, but first, we will be naming our kingdom the Realm of Shadows. Yes, because of course we do have a huge amount of shadow units and I think that is rather appropriate. So, continue onward. Oh yes, so, let's take a look for any potential weapons? No, okay. A little unfortunate there. How about some armor? Ah yes, same thing here. Okay, well, at least we can sell a couple of pieces of loot that we picked up. And then we can continue onward with our sieges and indeed promoting a couple of our companions to vassalage. So we will be leveling up more of our units here and then we will see about those vassals, that is for sure. Now we are gaining quite a few Shadow Knights as well. Moraga has advanced in level as well as Alethira, so let's see what she can advance into. I think Strength and Iron Flesh is always going to be good, even though Firearm Skill is what she is using at the moment, but I think having 56 health, maybe even getting to 60 health, would help her out more than anything else. So I think that's good. And Alethira, with her lovely new armor on, she is going to be specking into strength as well, because I found trying to find armor for her was incredibly difficult, because, believe it or not, having 9 in strength is not exactly the greatest, when most armors only enable you to wear them at 10 or higher strength attributes. So, thankfully enough, we were able to find some armor here that has no requirements, so that was pretty good. Now, what we will be specking her into is magic defense, so that she doesn't die almost immediately which is very good. So let's get some archery proficiency as well. And now we will be... Hmm, not entirely sure what we will be doing. I think we will be moving, gaining the 111 skeletons. Very nice. And we will be placing those in the garrison here. Along with these mercenary mages. Oh yes. Okay, so what I have actually done is I have sort of said to myself that we are going to have a rule set, and the rule set will be that we are only allowed to use mages that advance into necromancers, dark mages, and so forth, and the infantry can be a mixture of, I suppose, shadow units and dwarven units, as well as the golems, of course. I think that will probably make it a little bit more in keeping with our character as a necromancer, but by all means, let me know if you guys think another unit type would be suitable for us. So, I will be waiting here for some time, and once we have rejuvenated our units and raised a couple more undeads from the depths of hell, we will be traversing onward to Alberk Castle. So I will see you soon. Okay, so before heading on to Alberk Castle, I think it would be a great idea to get some vassals going around the lands and patrolling, making sure that nothing goes wrong. So, we will be asking Mateld to hold a fief. We will give her Ruvar, I believe. That's probably going to be the good one. And we will then speak to Fruorin as well, who I believe would probably make a great vassal as well. So, would you be interested in holding a fief? Yes. And I will give him Odison. So they both have around 42-43 relation with us. Very nice indeed. And now... By all means, let me know if any of these other companions you would like to see as vassals, apart from obviously Yumira, and that would be fine, because Yumira is going to stay with me for the rest of the campaign, I believe, because her surgery is just invaluable with many of our units, including the dwarves, not so much the liches and the shadow units, because of course, surgery, according to many of you, does not affect them. But let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. So, we are now going to be heading to Alberk Castle and unleashing our very dark magics against them. So, let us go. 165 units. They do have a couple of mages that we will be able to rescue and hopefully train as our own dark emissaries. And oh my, that Nord vassal over there had, I believe, 190 units. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> if we have to fight him, then... I'm hoping that we will be able to take him on. Oh yes, we actually just took out a huge amount of units with that fireball volley right there. Very nice indeed. And I have actually just been reminded that we neglected to take a look at the goods tab in the marketplace. Because I wanted to find Vampiric or Black Bolt. But 
Nevertheless, we have actually just been taken out because of our absolutely terrible armor. And that reminds me, I should really use my shield spell, shouldn't I? Yes, I should use my shield spell. The only thing about the shield spell that I really didn't want to, I suppose, use that much is the fact that it uses mana, I believe. So I really didn't want to do that too much. And we are going to be telling our mages to hopefully get back because I really do not want them to die. So yes, I actually didn't tell them to do that with my orders beforehand, but I suppose that's what happens when you get carried away with the overwhelming amounts of dark energy and power. So there we are, they actually defeated them a lot quicker than they did beforehand, because <laughs> I was alive beforehand, and yes, that was a little bit strange. Okay, well, we took out 165 of their units, and now we are able to take some mercenary mages. Oh yes, three bandit mages as well. Very nice indeed. Some foot dwarves, some dwarves. Dwarven Skirmisher, why not? We may as well just take as many of these mercenary mages as we can. And let's take a look here. Orc, Raider, Shamans. Uh, well, I think what we will do is because we may as well, I'm just going to take as many units as I can and then we will place them in the garrison here. That sounds like a good idea, at least to me. So, yes, let's just take as many as we can apart from the cap that we have there, 136, and then we will be heading on. Oh yes, so let's take some pieces of loot to sell. And I will... I'd like to have it for myself, to be honest. But I would like to have a free garrison here. So let's defer the appointment first, and then we will manage the garrison and place all of these things in here as well. Actually, let's get a forest bandit first. There we are and then place a couple of units in here. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so we're just going to level up a couple more of our mages, our dwarves, and then that will be that. And we have successfully garrisoned this particular keep. Now, we do have 66 there, which is rather nice, and I will be leveling up arcane. So I think, considering the Vorpal Sword only requires 7 in strength, I'm not entirely sure what to level up now. I would like to level up our agility, as I said quite a while ago, so that we can get our riding skill to 4, I believe. But that will take us quite a while, because we do need 12 in agility, so I'm not entirely sure whether we should, but I think going on the way there would probably be a good idea anyway. So let us get some power throw. Why not? That sounds like a good idea, and we will then continue onward. So, let's see how many skeletons we have accrued. Oh yes, 53 zombies indeed, so that is very nice. There we are. Okay, so I think, considering I am going to need some time to continually summon shadows and garrison them in Wercheck and Alberk Castle, I will end this episode off here. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.